Okay, here's an extra tough complete the square. Remember, the first step is you put the plus box minus box thing there. But you don't actually do the half and square until after you factored something out. Do the factoring first, then do your half and square. Okay, give it a shot. I'll pause while you finish. Okay, even if you're not done, just take a look at how far I am so far. I got the 25 factored out. And now I can do my half and square thing. But I really should do something first before I forget. Jordan? Exactly. Because this is this is 25 has been factored out here. I also need one over here. Because otherwise my box, which is supposed to, these are supposed to cancel each other out here and here. If I don't, then the box won't be big enough at the end. Okay, so half and square, I take half of negative, or half of negative 4, which is negative 2, and I square it, and I get 4. four. And now, 25x minus 2 squared, and then negative 100 plus 1 is negative 99. Raise your hand if you had the same thing as me. Excellent. Any questions about that? And why did we do that again? They might have just said, instead of complete the square, they might say, put this in what form? Vertex form. Okay. All right. Now, what did they just say? Find the roots. I started this lesson with this to see if you'd remember it even that long. Quadratic formula. Yes, you could try to factor it, but this one won't factor. So, quadratic formula right now. Without a calculator, no calcs, because there are some on the no calc section of the test. Okay, so here's how you start. I put in all my numbers into the quadratic formula, and the part where everybody makes their mistakes is always in this zone, so be especially careful in there. Okay, negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 4 to the minus. There's two minuses in there. What does that mean? It's going to be positive. So positive 12 times 2 is 24 for this part. It's positive 24 times 4. What's that? 12 times 2 is... Oh, I'm sorry. It's a plus. You're right. You're right. You're right. right. This is a plus 24. So now i got 4 plus 24 makes 28 all over 6. Good enough? No. Nope. Got to keep going. Square root of 28. Well, I don't have to go get the decimal for it. I said no calcs. So uh, root 7 and root 4 all over 6. And the root 4 part is really equal to 2. So I'm going to put a 2 right there. Good enough? No, because there's something in common on all of them. And I'm going to show all the work on it so that you understand. This is really negative 2 plus or minus 2 root 7 all over 2 times 6. See how they have... Sorry, 2 times 3. You see how they all have a 2 in common? And so then where the, really what I'm doing is factoring out a 2 on the top. And I'm going negative 2 comes out. Or actually, I'll just say 2 comes out. I'll make it cleaner. And then 1 plus or minus root 7 is left all over 2 times 3. This is an extra step I haven't normally showed you, but that's why it cancels. Just one of them cancels. You just factor that 2 out to the front. Or you could say that, that, and that cancel. But there's really no other place in math that that really happens. So I want to show you. It's really just factoring out the 2 to the front and then canceling it. Final answer. 1 plus or minus. Did I drop a negative? Yeah, yeah it's supposed to be a negative right there. Sorry about that. 1 plus or minus, negative 1, plus or minus square root of 7 all over what? 3. Any other questions? All right. Then this is the part where I can do, uh, we just did one of those reducing things, so I don't need, think we need to practice that. And I'll do that survey at some other time. Um, this is the part where I can answer questions. Anything that you want to know from the entire semester. Like, I always had trouble with this. I'll be willing to answer it now. Otherwise, if you want, I can give you one-on-one -on -one help when we have our work time. Anything you want to know? Anything from quadratics that's still bugging you? Okay, when you're doing your homework for tonight, it's just the evens on the whole rest of the packet. So, uh, and someone could ask me, well, what about the ABCDs? 
when you do the ABCDs, uh, if you go like, if you do the A, then skip the B, and then do the C, and then skip the E, that kind of thing, all right? If you have already done them, that's okay. It was good practice, but I did tell you in class yesterday, last week on Friday that I was only assigning the evens in case you want to go ahead. Yes? Oh, the max and mins. Okay, yes, that's on there. So here's a question about intervals on a polynomial. Actually, you know what? It, that wouldn't be because it's a polynomial. But the thing that's kind of like it is domain, and that's on there a lot. So let's say we had one of these things, and we had the domain of it. Well, the domain is always the x parts, and then the range is the y parts. The domain on this thing would be from this way, how far, to how far that way. Negative infinity to positive infinity. And since you can't ever get to those, you use parentheses. The range is always from this way to that way. Smallest to biggest. Okay, what's the smallest it'll ever get? This way. Zero to the biggest it'll ever get? Infinity. So that's the closest thing to the question that you asked that would be on the test. Is that good enough? Okay. Anything else you want to know? Okay, then. Go ahead and get rolling on your homework. Just doing the evens and the whole rest of the packet. Ask me questions one-on-one. -on -one.